guys. I'm wearing my uh, FabFitFun robe from a few boxes back. And I'm sipping on a little Four Siggy coffee here. I um, wasn't able to take you guys vlogging this week because we had so much rain that uh, there was a flash flood and so I couldn't go out. Uh, it was really bad actually. If you live in Houston, the Houston area, I hope you are okay. Uh, we got so much rain that uh, cars were getting stranded and uh, a lot of people's property was flooded. Not good, not good at all. I was, I was very lucky, my mom was very lucky we were not affected but uh, some of the roads around where I live were flooded are uh, very high water and I know a lot of cars wound up getting stranded so they're like just don't go out till this all washes away and it seems to seems to have died down but boy we had some really dreary days for a few days there so anyways yeah today I think I'm going to do a little cooking and um, maybe some crafting so that's what's going on. up some uh, squash oats. I normally do zucchini, but I got some yellow squash, shredded it up, and um, put a little vanilla protein powder. And I'm actually having an iced matcha tea this morning with a little bit of vanilla stevia in it. It's really good. I'll show you guys a matcha tea that I'm drinking. Yeah, it's these uh, Sun Goddess Matcha Tea Crystals by Peak Tea Crystals. They're so handy because they just dissolve in water and they make a really nice matcha tea. And then I I sweeten it with a little vanilla stevia. Stevia. I'll show you the stevia I've been using. Yeah, this is a stevia I use, the better, better stevia, French vanilla. I'll just keep it here next to my little coasters. Parking lot or whatever, but you know what I mean. It's just at home and stuff when I climb into the car, it's just nice to have them be able to do that by themselves. And it's just so roomy and practical and a lot less expensive, it's like a third of the price, and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I did it, I ordered a minivan, uh, and I um, texted my friends about it uh, the other day, and <laughs> Nina said, Nina was calling me, uh, calling it the J Money minivan. So <laughs> that was a really long, so back nine plus years ago, when I started my channel, I did so because I was in a personal rut. So I just started doing the um, needlepoint embroidery project from YesStyle, this cute little fox. It's rather easy and relaxing, so I've been enjoying that little craft. Yeah, I used my Google Translator app and to translate the uh, Chinese characters, but apparently if you go on to WeChat, you can scan this little barcode and it'll show you a video tutorial as well but I couldn't get the WeChat thing to work. All right, so I'm actually gonna just get started making a little jackfruit chili. Uh, and uh, this is really pretty easy to throw together. So I'll show you guys. This is just jackfruit that you can get on iHerb uh, by the brand uh, Edwards & Son. You also can buy it like in Asian grocery stores in a can. Um, and I just have a 
skillet here. But if you've never had this, it mimics the consistency of meat, but it's not meat. Uh, it's a fruit. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like beef tips almost. So I'm just going to first take it out of the pouch. Yeah, it almost looks like, like canned dog food. And I'm just going to put it in a skillet here, dry. Alright, and then I'm going to cover it with water. And I'm just going to bring it to a boil. Alright, so now that it's come to a boil, I'm just going to reduce the temperature to simmer. Take it off the heat a little bit. Back. So I'm just going to kind of let it simmer for about 10 minutes. It just kind of tenderizes it. And for me, it makes it easier to digest. I find that if I don't do this stuff with jackfruit, that if I eat it and season it and, and season it and eat it without boiling it in advance, it gives me the weirdest dreams and disturbs my sleep. It's the most bizarre thing. But boiling it, for some reason, tames it for me. <laughs> Okay, so I let it simmer for about 10 minutes, just kind of, just to soften it up and tenderize it basically. I drained off the majority of the water um, and I may add a little bit more. And this is a cup of chopped white onion. And then I'm also gonna add in two cloves of garlic. Heck happened there. <laughs> kind of came out the back end. I'm just gonna let that cook down a little bit. I'm actually gonna add just a tiny bit of water so it can kind of steam together. Pinto beans that I prepared from dry in my um, Kosari uh, pressure cooker. It equates to about one can of drained pinto beans. Uh, no salt. Now I'm going to add some chili powder. This is you guys see? some chili powder. I'm going to add about, mm, let's say a tablespoon. And this spoon's good. Mm -hmm. Just eyeball it. I'm also going to add some cumin. some ancho chili powder as well. And 
And then these are um, chili, chipotle peppers and adobo seasoning, uh, adobo sauce. You can buy these in a can. These actually came in a purple carrot kit and I didn't end up adding them or using them. So I have them here, but you could probably just use, I don't know, like a tablespoon out of, out of a can or something or just eyeballing it. all the seasonings together. And now I have a can of tomato sauce, no salt added. So the uh, chipotle peppers are typically in a salty sauce, so that's why I keep it low salt otherwise. And I'm actually just gonna add about half the can. try cashew milk. I haven't done that yet, but yeah, comes out really good. It separates a tiny bit, but honestly not that much. And it's, you just shake it up and it's good and creamy. So, yeah. Tastes like boxed almond milk. Uh, it doesn't really have much of a taste to be frank, but it, it acts as a substitute. The downside to doing this though, as opposed to buying boxed almond milk, is obviously it's not fortified, but you know, I take my B12 and whatnot, so I'm good there. All right, you guys, chili sin carne. Uh, it cooks down and it's pretty, uh, pretty meaty. I don't know if you can see that. I had to move my, um, I had to move my light for a moment, so. I'm just going to uh, put this into a Pyrex bowl to cool and that'll be delicious. Yeah, you can scoop this up, put it on a baked potato um, or uh, serve it with some cornbread. And then I'm gonna bake some radishes in my air fryer. I've shown this before in a dedicated recipe video, but it's pretty easy. Just put them in there. And I like it. Mm, around 365 and I put it in for 30 minutes. All right. Voila. Yeah, they come out kind of like little uh, crispy potatoes. They're quite good. They get like bubbly. But if you do these and you put them in I think the outcome varies depending on your air fryer and like how big it is. Because my mom tried to make these once and they did not come out good, come out well. If they come out 
rock hard still in the center like raw radish then put them in for longer or higher temperature because they're mine are soft and juicy on the inside if you bite into them they're really soft and they're they're kind of juicy and they have that bubbly crispy skin but if you put them in an air fryer and come out kind of looking more or less like they did when they went in crank up the temp or or the time but yeah they're really good with mustard and i'm gonna dip it in the chili sin carne Tabby bow. <laughs> I heard you were excited to see me. <laughs> Little boy, you had a bath this morning. I love my drink. I love my drink. I missed you. Can you give me your little he puppy does kiss? Love you. She your favorite human, Tabby. Oh. Well, thank you. He is so cute. Spread the love, yes. I know it. Share the love, King Tiny. Mm, he's gonna go pick a toy. How was your week? I went by too fast, yeah. as usual. That flooding was something else. Yeah, so, yeah, um, the people that were caught on the highway. Yeah. Oh, they really had a rough time of it. Yeah, a lot of people were stranded. Ooh, you got some origami books. Yeah, Not to change the subject so abruptly. Thanks. Cool. Oh, I have my origami paper here in my I brought my craft toad. How's your embroidery thing? It's pretty easy. Yeah, that kit's really nice. Apparently if you scan that little code, uh it'll take you to a website that will play a video. But the app that you're supposed to use it wouldn't let me sign in. It like locked me out or something, oh. so I couldn't get it to work. But well, you got two of them. You got me fox. Yeah, I got a bunny and a fox. Oh. I'm working on the fox here. Good catch, Dad. Yeah, my um, wreath I hung up on my door. My origami wreath I made last week. I hung it up on my door and my inside. Oh, those are pretty. I'm glad you got this. Yeah, I want to do a Christmas one. Let's see if I'll be able to swing that. Yeah, I, I like the way those turn out. Yeah, they're pretty easy. <laughs> you gonna do some planning? <laughs> okay. Which one? What's that? I got some tree lines. Which flavor did you get? Uh, this is the garlic herb. Or yeah, they don't have the scallion one that came in my purple yeah, carrot kit that have time. Two, um, options, so I got this one. That stuff is good. Little boy, you want to say bye to everybody? Oh my goodness! My goodness! Oh, yeah, my goodness! You want to give me a hug? Oh, little boy. Oh. Love me. Well, anyways, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. It's getting uh, kind of lengthy. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and, subscribe. and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye.